Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you how to make a German bell. This one I was given as a swap when I went to a convention in Brussels. Um, it was made by Anika Petri um, and inside it had a little gift, a beautiful thing. Um, at the time I didn't know it was called German bell but it just opens like that and inside there was a little um, uh, like a, a bath oil thingy um, but I was just so taken with this beautiful idea but internet being what it is I was able to find out how to make it and I want to share it with you this is the one that I've made I've done mine a little bit differently in as much as I've actually sealed mine up because I want mine as a decoration on my Christmas tree so what I'll do is, as I'm showing you how to make my one, I'll stop and show you the steps that you'd need to take to make um, Arika's one. So to start off with, you need a piece of paper. Mine is six inches square. Obviously you can use any size as long as it is a square one. I've done all my folding beforehand because there are lots of folds. It is origami at the end of the day. Um, so what you do is, first of all, you fold your sheet in half this way and this way. You fold it in half corner to corner this way and this way. Now I wouldn't use a bone folder on scoring um, the edges because um, this is paper and eventually if you do it too much to paper it will make it crack. Anyway, once you've done those four, turn it in the other direction and do those four again. So that's halfway that way, that way, halfway that way, and then halfway that way. Now I suggest when you do the next bit, you do it with your pattern facing up. I'll show you why later. But the next um, eight folds you need are what I would call a kite. So you've got to go from this corner and you've got to phone fold this corner up to the centre here like that so it makes like a kite and you do the opposite side okay and you've got to do that to all four corners so I've torn mine but never mind I'll be using glue on mine so that's corner one so then corner two fold that one and fold that one and then corner three fold that one and then fold that one and lastly corner four this one fold that in and then fold that in now you need to refold those but on the opposite side which is why I said start with the right side facing you otherwise you would have had to have folded it this way gone back the other way and then folding it a third time and this just saves you um, one extra fold on your paper and therefore reduces your risk of your paper cracking although as you can see I have folded this and folded this and there is no cracking at all I'm really very pleased with this it's a lovely idea okay so that's all my folds now if you wanted to do this one at this stage what you would need is to take um, a small hole punch, this is one eighth of um, an inch and I'm not going to do it but what you need to do on this fold here, the diagonal one across there where that fold is, about half an inch in you'd need to punch a hole and to show you I'll draw there okay so that's where you would need it and you'd need it on all four um, so the rest we carry on for both of these. To fold this, what needs to happen is each of these corners have got to fold like that, inwards. And then the joining bit in between those two needs to come down like that. As you see, as I did, if that starts coming up this direction, just gently push it down again 
So I've got two corners up, that's got to go down, that's got to go down. Then that one quite often gives you a bit of a fight, but you just need to push that one down as well. And then as you push them over, and now that's not going down properly, which means there is something not folding quite correctly. So let me just give that a little, oh that's better. Okay, so then it comes down, um, it's like a square really, but with the folds. So that is what happens. Now with this one, because you've punched your holes in here, you threadle your um, baker's twine through, and if you want to add little um, tags on it, this is the time to do it. Um, and then you can put your gift in there, tie it up, and you could hang it on your tree or just give it as we were given um, at the convention. Um, I really, really love this idea. Um, so, but I'm going to seal mine up. So what I need to do is open this and I'm going to use um, sticky strip and I'm going to put strip on, let me show you, where this folds along here, I'm going to put a piece along there on each of the four sides okay just down there and you really do need this to come as close to the top as possible so what I tend to do is come over the edge oh good that's my torn piece let's stuck it down that's fine and then trim it off times like this that these non-stick um, scissors really come in handy and then just make sure that that is all adhered down move around to the next one make sure that's adhered down now I'm going to experiment with um, editing and I'm going to see if I can fast forward this. I'm not going to talk for a minute for these last two. Right, there we go. Oops. All four pieces done. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is one piece at a time take the backing of the sticky strip And I've taken a piece of 1 8 um, inch silver ribbon and my first piece I'm going to pop onto that sticky strip there and then when I push this down the ribbon gets stuck inside and you just want to make sure that you can squeeze the um, tape close close together on that one and then move around to the next one I'm not going to put the uh, second piece of ribbon on that one I put that down the next one and then again squeeze that in it is quite tight in there um, you might find it easier just to squeeze it close with tweezers. Right now the um, third one is where I am going to put my next piece of ribbon and I'm also going to take the fourth piece of tape off as well okay so uh, which way does this go? Put those two down those two and then that one has got to come over make sure it doesn't get twisted that ribbon's got to come down onto this one and then close those two up obviously you can't squeeze these sides together but um, I'm sure it'll be alright Oh, 
little gentle squeeze and then there we go how cute is that oops now but if you get a piece like that where it's dented in you can normally just squeeze it and pop it out okay so to finish off this one what I did was I used my itty bitty accent punch at the star to punch out the silver stars from our silver paper and then I've put a large diamante uh, jewel in the middle because I think that when that's hanging on the tree that's going to uh, catch the lights and make it really sparkle well I hope you uh, like that and I really hope you give it a try because it's really really lovely I love it um, I will just show you some others that I did um, that's oh I've forgotten the name of the uh, paper thing all is calm I think it is I'll check that and put it on the screen but you get two sheets of white that's got silver patterns and white on the inside really lovely um, but that was a non stamping up sheet that I used first of all because I thought if I was, if I was going to uh, make a hash of it I don't want to make a hash using stamping up paper uh, sorry whoever that does belong to um, and that's another one from stamping up paper that was I think that's Nordic Noel that one possibly no that's all it's calm as well and this one I did and that's got the uh, ribbon coming out of it but I didn't like the way that came so I've got to uh, sort that out but as you can see I've had a lot of fun with this hope you do too thank you for watching my video if you have any questions please contact me I'll be happy to help you if you've enjoyed my video please subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button at the top right hand side of the screen if you'd like to purchase any of the stamping up products featured here I'd love to earn your business um, please visit my website at www.jambicards.com and click on the link for my 24 7 online stamping up shop um, I'll also put the link below many thanks for joining me today until next time happy crafting cheerio <laughs>